What do we got? We're making another cocktail. Ooh, that's right, part two. This is part two. This is about deux. 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 So, let's recap quickly. McMahon and Tate bitters, kind enough to send us four different varieties of bitters. And we're jumping into which bitter? We are doing the wildly aromatic bitters. That sounds nice. Wildly aromatic. And the drink we're going to make, we're sort of um, riffing on the Martinez. There you go. So we'll just call it the Martinez. The Martinez. So for this, we're going to do one and a half ounces of barrel finished gin. I chose the blue coat. Uh, half an ounce of the sweet vermouth. So it's Carpano Classic, Classico sweet vermouth. And a quarter ounce of Luxardo, maraschino liqueur. Three dashes of McMahon and Tate wildly aromatic bitters. Stir over ice, pour into a martini glass or a Nicanora glass, and uh, orange peel garnish. There you go. So, shall we? We shall. You want to read about this aromatic I'll bitters? read a little bit. Wild about bitters. With McMahon and Tate's wildly aromatic bitters, it's easy to drop hints of fruit and spice into your favorite brandy rum and whiskey mm. cocktails. Fruits and spice! Our bitters feature subtle overtones of cinnamon and vanilla that are coupled with a blend of orange zest, cranberries, and other flavorful spices. So it's cranberry, orange peel, vanilla, gentian, gentian. Uh, cherry bark, clove, cassia, cardamom, and anise. Carmen and Anise, eh? Anise. And this is an ABV of 32.2. All right, sir. Salud. Cheers. Oh. oh, a little dingy. Another ringy, ringy, dingy, dingy, dingy. Again, orange. Orange overpowers, doesn't it? It, it tends to overpower. When you push past the orange on the next little snip there, and yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the cherry. Hmm. I'm not really getting cherry. Let's see. We're going to go for a taste. I'm going for a taste. That's pretty nice. That's pretty yummy. Now you're not a gin guy. No, right? not by any stretch. But I think because it's barrel aged. The barrel age takes takes the edge off. Like that's a sipper gin. Well, and I, I think when you roll it into a cocktail and flavor with a bunch of other things that I do like. Yeah. I don't necessarily know it's no, gin because I don't really notice the gin so much. I'm, I'm also getting a lot of the aromatics. Mm. You're getting a lot of that, the other stuff. You know, the the, the juniper plays with the other things, and uh, I'm getting some of that cinnamon, a little vanilla. Yeah. Maybe some clove. It's pretty good. That is that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, this one. What'd you do? Sucked up the orange peel. Ah, well, you know. It's all right. Vitamins. Vitamin C. Um, with this one, what do you think? This is an after dinner? This is just a, this is like a happy hour drink. Uh, this is coming home from work. Happy hour? Yeah, yeah just This is a 1950s. 1950s? You know, well, McMahon and Tate, right? Said, exactly. You got, you got a, exactly. what's her name? Uh, what was Elizabeth Montgomery's name? Thanks. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Montgomery. Uh, what was her character's name? Samantha Stevens. Hmm. Not Serena. Her evil, her evil sister. That's right. But her Samantha, like, Wrinkle her nose. Exactly. And poof. What poof, do you need? Poof. What do you need? Poof. You got a cocktail. Poof. Need poof. And not Endora. You don't want the mother in law. No. That one's a problem. No. But that's somewhat. Agnes, More Agnes Moorhead? Agnes Moorhead. Oh, look at that. I remember something. Boy, that's, uh, boy, that's a good cocktail. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a happy hour drink. Yeah. What would you have with it? What would you order? Like, if you had, like, the apps. You know what would be nice? The deviled eggs that they used to have. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the old bar. Well, the old bar doesn't have them now, but I think you can get them yeah. at Village Whiskey. You can get yeah. the, you can get the deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. With that um, little bit I'm of also trouble. I'm also thinking uh, some of the uh, sardines. Some of uh, the uh, no shrimp wrapped in bacon. Yeah. Oh, even better. How about that? Or yeah. scallops wrapped in bacon. Scallops wrapped in bacon. Yeah. Uh, or how about scallops with a little pancetta? Yeah. Or uh, uh, some uh, like a, a bruschetta with the pancetta. Oh, little, some toast points. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Cheese plate? Do you sure. Have, do you have any? I got nothing. I got so, guac. You want some guac? So this drool's just going to right on the floor. Well, I got to okay. mop up later, so all it's, right. all, it's all good. So, anyhow, I like it. It's pretty good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sir, cheers, cheers to you. Cheers to McMahon and Tate for uh, sending us some lovely bitters. And, and they're wildly course, aromatic. Delicious. And, of course, cheers to you, our friends. Cheers. cheers.